Last year I made a video on how to edit HDR photos for real estate, showing methods for Lightroom, Photoshop, and outsourcing to foreign editors. We had three methods because each has trade-offs when you consider speed, quality, and cost. But now in 2025, a new AI software has come out that can produce high quality edits as quickly as Lightroom with the quality of Photoshop and for less cost than outsourcing to foreign editors. Now I'll admit, I was skeptical of AI photo editing when it first came out. I tried one software and the results just weren't good enough to deliver to my clients. But a few months later, my friend Brandon showed me some edits from Fatello that honestly shocked me by how good they were. Now I use Fatello for almost all my photo editing, although I'll be sharing why I still rely on traditional editing methods for certain situations. So in this video, I'll give you a deep dive on how to edit your photos in Fatello from start to finish, along with my honest take on what it does well and where it could be better. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So here's my dashboard view in Fitello, and one of the great features right off the bat is that all my jobs are saved in my listings. Other providers will delete completed jobs after a certain amount of time to save on storage, but here it's optional, so I don't have to back them up to Dropbox. To start a new job, I'll click on new listing, and then I just drag my raw files into the upload box. In a few seconds, it processes the previews and auto stacks the brackets into groups. The time sorting feature works fine for me. Uh, I have it set to group files within two seconds of each other, but you can also sort by number of shots or select bracket groups manually. One feature that sets Vitello apart is their separate AI models for interiors and exteriors. This does add a minute or two of processing because you manually select each shot type, but the result is perfectly bright color balanced interiors while exteriors get that extra pop in vibrance and contrast. I do wish we could manually set the preview bracket and maybe it's the ordering from my camera, but I always see the dark exposure first. So I have to toggle to the middle exposure for each set of brackets and those extra clicks just add time. Once we've set interior and exterior selections, I always turn on auto perspective correction and sky replacement. So next we have the option to select from three different editing styles. Signature gives a more polished look with fully desaturated walls, while natural still cleans up the color casts but gives a more realistic feel. I usually lean towards natural, but try them both for yourself because you can easily change back and forth with just a click. Now the twilight feature is still in beta and from what I've tested, the results just aren't ready yet, but there is a big update on the way, so I'll be sure to link a new video here when I try it out. Now that we're done processing, I hit enhance listing and the photos will start uploading. The upload time will vary based on your internet speed, but the edits are processed within two minutes of them uploading. So you can start working on finished photos in real time, even when the rest of the job is still uploading. The spinning wheel on the thumbnail means the edits are still processing, but you can navigate away and start a new listing while the current job continues to run in the background. So it's been a few minutes, let's check out the finished edits and apply some final post-processing touches. But first, I just wanna point out three features that make Fatello's AI editing really stand out. So one is how evenly toned these images are. I mean, even in the high contrast scenes or dealing with tricky wood tones, the exposure is always perfectly balanced and natural. Two, the colors are amazing. And this has always been the biggest challenge with HDR. The different luminance values mess with the hue, but with Fatello, it does an amazing job at solving this and their color cast removal accurately isolates the whites and the ceilings so that the other colors really pop while maintaining their true tones. And three, the window pulls are perfect across the multiple scenarios I've thrown at it. Shutters, blinds, shear covers, plants blocking the view. And if you've ever manually masked your windows in Photoshop, you know that it's extremely time consuming, but the AI here just handles it. Now that said, AI isn't perfect 100% of the time. And for every 30 or so photos I run, I'd say two or three have issues. Fatello understands this and they have in-house editors. So when AI makes a mistake, you can just request a revision and they'll fix it within eight hours. The most common issues I've seen are color casts that can't be fixed with sliders, auto perspective warping, sky replacements where they shouldn't go, and the camera removal from the mirrors just doesn't work properly. Fatello is also the only AI editing software I know of that does flash, although the results are pretty inconsistent, so I'd say this feature is still in beta. If you're like me and you wanna add a personal touch to your completed edits, Fatello has a built-in post-processing dashboard. Here we have some basic presets and sliders, or you can create your own custom presets. I like the airy preset to brighten up my interiors, although my drone shots were another story. They weren't coming out how I wanted, but I realized that my Mavic 3 RAWs are pretty flat to start with. So I created a custom preset that bumps saturation and contrast, and now I can fix my drone shots with one click. If you made a mistake during processing, in the post dashboard, you can still switch between interior and exterior styles, or change the look between Signature, Natural, or Twilight. They also have a built-in TV screen and fire replacements 
that work well in most situations. The TV feature automatically detects the screen area when you click on it, making the replacement really easy. And I like that you can add your own image or choose from a preset like black. The fireplace tool is a bit more basic. You get the controls to resize the flame, but it has limitations like if a couch is blocking the fireplace, then the flame will go over it. For exteriors, you can toggle sky replacement on and off. Unfortunately, there's only one sky option and you can't switch skies or upload your own. And for me personally, this is one of Fatello's biggest drawbacks at the moment and the reason I don't use it for 100% of my editing yet. I prefer cloudless skies for most edits, so now I'm splitting some jobs, doing the interiors on Fatello, and then sending the exteriors to a professional editor. It does sound like this update is in the works, although we don't have a clear timeline yet. So now that we're done with all the post-processing, we can export as print size or MLS. But Fatello already offers white-labeled property websites, payment processing, order forms, and they're currently working to offer new CRM features at a reasonable price. Since I've already built my system with automations, switching doesn't make sense for me right now. But if I were newer to the business or I didn't have a CRM already, having this all built in would be pretty valuable. Plus, clients can request photo revisions directly from their delivery link, which is a feature that I've always wanted in a client portal software. So when should you use AI versus human editors? AI editing like Fatello wins on speed, consistency, and cost. There are so many inconsistencies when working with outsource editors from communication issues, unpredictable delivery times, and varying quality of the photos themselves. In these examples from one of my editors, you can see the white balance looks different between lenses, while AI gives consistent results for the same images. Plus now I'm in control of the delivery time, where in the past I'd have stressful mornings with clients asking for their photos, and I hadn't heard any updates from my editor. Cost varies based on your volume, but with Fatello, you get 60 photos per job for a flat rate. I mostly do full service media packages, so my photo volume isn't super high, but in an average month where I delivered 35 jobs with 1,047 photos, the cost was about 837 for my outsource editor. I could have delivered double the photos, 2,100 photos, and still paid just $700 on their monthly plan, which would be about a 15% savings. And here's the thing, when I'm paying per photo, I feel incentivized to deliver less. And so with the flat rate, I've naturally been delivering more photos per job because it doesn't cost me anything extra and provides more value to the clients. Now, I still rely on traditional editing in certain situations. Sky replacement is one example I mentioned earlier, but another is on high-end properties like this one with ocean views. I don't have any precise control here and the AI actually desaturated the water, making it look worse. This is because the AI only has one setting for window pulls right now, and it slightly tones them down rather than enhancing the view. Whereas with manual editing, you can decide precisely how you wanna pull each window. That said, at the moment, I'm currently using Fatello for around 80% of my work and default to traditional editing for these specific use cases. But we're still early and as this technology continues to improve, I'll be making more content to show you new features and I'll likely be sending more of my workflow through AI editing in the future. Bottom line, AI editing is here, and I think it's finally reached the point where it's legitimately better than traditional methods for most real estate photography work. If you want to try Fatello, be sure to use my link below and claim your free credits. Plus, it helps support the channel so I can keep making more content like this. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.